Now, having enough salt isn't the only worry facing street departments. Now, crews were out trying to make sure the piles of snow don't keep you from seeing where you're going and what's coming. 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti looked into the problem today. He joins us live now. Jerry. Erica and Dave, with additional snowfall predicted this weekend, as well as possibly the latter half of next week, those trying to keep our roads and parking lots clear will eventually be finding themselves running out of places to push it all. If workers weren't having enough trouble just trying to keep local roads and other areas clear of snow and ice, there's now a new problem. These piles of plowed snow from parking lots are coming a little too close to local roads. In our case, most of the time it's Market Street. Boardman Road Superintendent Larry Wilson says his office has started getting some complaints this week from motorists having trouble seeing over the mounds. In a couple instances, road crews had to clear away the snow and ice from intersections. Wilson's offering this advice to business owners who hire private snowplow companies. When they do have these guys come in and do their lots, then we'd like to have them at least keep them down or spread it out to where you know it's, it's, it's viewable because it is a site obstruction. Taking a drive along Market Street this afternoon, we found a number of spots where drivers would have had a hard time seeing what's coming toward them because of the snow piles. Wilson says while his staff is contacting businesses to ask them to push the snow away from driveways and intersections, he warns they could eventually be cited if the problems continue. If we continue with the winter like we're having right now and it, it continues where it's cold, where the snow won't melt, then it's going to pile up even further because these guys are going to run out of places to put it. For now, local road engineers are hoping conditions will get a little warmer, which will then help melt some of what's been piling up. Eric and Dave. Jerry, thanks. But